Welcome to another video. We, today we are at Martin River Provincial Park. Stick around until the end as we'll exactly show you what there is to do on this campground and whether this is the park for you. So without further ado, let's go. Martin River Provincial Park is located just off Highway 11, about 40 minutes north of North Bay and 4 hours north of Toronto. There are two campgrounds at the park. The Chico campground is to the north and the Asinica campground is to the south. Both offer electric and non-electric sites. At Martin River, the cell phone service is actually quite excellent. So if this is a park where you want to work from the campsite, only with Bell, Telus and Kudo, it's certainly possible because uh, you got full LTE service here. It's right next to Highway 11, so you do get a little bit of highway noise. So keep that in mind when you visit this campground. It's not going to be dead silence because you always hear the highway in the background. When it comes to bringing your bike, there's only one bike trail. It's only two kilometers long. It does bring you to a nice lookout, but that's it. However, it is a great way to explore the campground. It is pretty hilly, so keep that in mind if you want to bring your bike. I certainly suggest if you have a canoe, kayak or sandal paddleboard to bring it with you. As you can see, we're right on the river on both sides. So it's perfect to explore by canoe, kayak or sandal paddleboard. Now, if you don't have any, don't worry, you can rent them here as well. It's $30, I believe, for four hours and $40 for a full 24 hours. There is a total of three hiking trails in the park. Now they're all connected. You can do the small loop, which is only 800 kilometers to the bigger loop, which is four and a half kilometers. So if you want to check out the area, definitely recommend it. Now the location of Martin River Provincial Park is right next to Highway 11. So if you are coming from up north, Cochrane, that Timmins, that area, you're gonna drive right by it. So I think this is a park where a lot of people just stop for a couple nights, stop over from their drive up north. So here's the park store. It's a very small store, but you can buy your necessities, your ice, your firewoods, and your merchandise, your patches, your t-shirts, your stuffed animals, and some very basic food supplies. Near the entrance, that's also where the main boat launch is. So just past the registration, you can launch your boat on the river right there. Just past the entrance is the potable water fill. There are three hoses, one on each side and one in the middle. All of the hoses here are treaded hoses. So if you have a water filter, you can certainly use it here. There's only one garbage depot and it's located near the entrance. So if you do have to get rid of your garbage, which again, you are in bear country, you definitely have to walk a little bit to get rid of it, which is unfortunate. It would have been nice if they put one by every campground like many other parks do. Both campgrounds are located at the other side of the river. Therefore, you always have to cross this one lane bridge. This is the trailer sanitation station. It's just a single line and I've always seen it busy here. So when you leave the park, be prepared to stand in the line because there's only one. And every single time I walk by here, it's extremely busy. This is the main conference station with showers. There's also laundry facilities here and it's located right in between the two campgrounds. There are signs everywhere around the park for your dogs. Now, I think the best part is that, let's see the Zekalani as well. Apparently your dog pool is on fire, which is, uh, you know, pretty cool. Most of the campsites here at Martin River Provincial Park are very spacious and private. And there is a mixture of electric and non-electric sites. This is the beach in our campground. Besides the big main conference station, there are some mini conference station with showers in each campground. And this is the other campground's beach. A very nice sandy beach, pretty large. So overall, not bad at all. So there's a swing set for the kiddos. There's the volleyball net if you're into volleyball. The main beach. And over there are the rentals and the horseshoe pits. So if you're uh, into that, you can play some horseshoes here as well. And the playground, unfortunately, it's closed because there are sand wasps. So unfortunately for the kiddos, they can't play at the moment. Directly by the main beach is also where the logging museum trail is. And definitely recommend to check it out um, to learn more about the park, the history, and the logging camp, how it looked like in the winter here. Ever wonder where Superman's dressing room is? It's probably at Martin River.
wo er puppt. About 40 kilometers from the campground, there is Caribou Mountain, which is where the famous fire tower is. The other thing is, they accept cash only, and of course, I don't have any cash on me, so... Yeah, it's a great adventure, it's a nice drive, but... Uh, yeah, don't have cash on me. But what I can do... About 15 minutes from the park is a restaurant, Tomiko, we did some takeouts. Here's a triple bypass burger with bacon, female bacon, pulled pork and fried onion. And some poutine on the sides. This is a sandwich and it's uh, absolutely delicious, so definitely recommend it. So the food was absolutely delicious, however you get it done. So if you are with your family, Maybe don't make everything a combo, because it is a ton of food. Maybe just make a couple of combo, one a combo, and share the fries. But uh, honestly, absolutely delicious food. definitely recommend go for a paddle here at Martin River. There is many, many places where you can launch your kayak, canoe or sand paddleboard. You do share the river and eventually the lake with boats. So keep that in mind if you're not that experience of a paddler. Because it could get pretty choppy depending on the boats in the area. in the boardwalk sections here it's definitely not accessible by stroller there's lots of rocks tree roots so if you want to take your little one with you definitely not stroller friendly
We think the blue trail is definitely a bit overgrown. So likely not a lot of people take this trail. Let's talk about Martin River. So Martin River is a very easily accessible park because it's right next to the highway. It does have multiple campsites, it provides some nice waterfront sites, it does have hydro hookups, it has some playgrounds. Even though the playgrounds are just swing sets, there's multiple beaches, the logging museum is nice. Um, it's something unique that you, not all the parks have to learn more about the history of the park and the area. It is conveniently accessible on Highway 11, so that's a nice thing. If you have a canoe, kayak or sand, paddleboard, definitely bring it. Um, there's a beautiful river to explore. Bringing your bike definitely allows you to explore the campgrounds easily. However, it is pretty hilly, so keep that in mind. So overall, Morton River is a nice park. It is close to the highway. There is some highway noise. Um, we'll likely be back again. This is not a park where we feel like we want to stay for a week at a time, but a couple nights here on, as a stopover up north really can't beat it. So uh, if you're looking for additional parks like this, why don't you check out this video right here where we summarize the top 10 parks we visited in last season.